Right, it's Ben's first time charging the ID Buzz. Um, they charged it up when we bought it, which was very generous of them. We like that. They had a full tank of electrons in there. Right, so we have got the fuel cap at the back here, which sort of makes sense. You've got to reverse up. But we did say if you reversed up and wanted to open your boot while you're waiting the 20 or so minutes or half an hour for it to charge, remember electric char cars are like humans. The hungrier you are, the faster you eat. So it takes a lot less time to go from 20 to 40% than it does to go from 80 to 100 percent it's the last bit and also you should never charge your battery fully so we've not done this before so this isn't really a how-to this is just watching us do it right then ben should we reverse up to our tesla charger and see if that works right here we go zoom zoom right so here we have the tesla not there there was the old one this is the tesla now the tesla charges have the ability to be run all of them as default with three phases now if you've got three phases supply in your business then it makes sense to have a three-phase charger because you get if you've got your three phases if one of them takes loads more power than the other they multiply the one that takes the most power by three so you need to make sure you consume your electricity evenly across the three which having a three-phase charger does because they all just go up and down so this is the i think this is they call the type two tether right so if you uncoil that then and let's have a look now we, we can do a few tests because obviously you don't want to be able to drive off with your tether in there it should all be foolproof so what well, is that an indicator light on the tesla we've got a, an indicator light so so let's have a look it's a bit sunny but let's have a look so it's the right shape in it goes now does it lock or recognize it oh that that, that change color is flashing it's flashing is it, oh, it's solid white now. Oh, no, no, no. Is he doing some handshaking? Does he not like, do they not like it? Because it's not a Tesla. Can we not use our Tesla wall mounted charger? Let's go and have a look what's happening inside. So it says, please wait. So it does actually say charging then. So it says charge. So you can set, you don't want to set it here. You can see it says, you can slide this along and it's like the Tesla. You don't want to be charging your battery all the way to 100%. It's not good for the batteries. So we've got it set to maximum. So it does say it is charging. Was it flashing on and off? Or it did just... Oh, it's not charging. It's like it's toggling on and off, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so we're not looking good. It, it's telling us here we've got to use a different charging station. Now, this is interesting because it type 2, you would have thought it would have plugged in. I mean, it fitted in, it liked it, but you can see it sort of thinks it's charging and then it goes on and off and on and off. All right, let's try the old single phase one. Don't wipe it too much, Ben, inside. All right. Ah, now that has tricked it on. I heard the switch go. So that's done some handshaking. Now, what color? Green. That's green. Oh, it's liking that one, Ben. Right, let's go and have a look what it's saying inside. Oh, it's liking that one. So why are the Tesla, why is the Tesla charger not happy? Okay, so this one says it's charging. You've got no error messages got, on your no, dash. I've got a green plug. We've got a green plug. So charge is five miles an hour you're charging up, Ben. Yowch. Yowch. That's going to sit all oh, six miles. Oh, maybe it's doing a sort of, maybe as the batteries, it might regulate that a mm. bit on the battery thing. But six miles an hour, and that's not cool, is it? No. But yeah, but it won't take the other one. So we may have to go and do some Googling. Why can't we charge our ID Buzz with a Tesla? Now, obviously, we're not, it's not a Tesla supercharger. We're not trying the whole DC charging. Right, so there's the little Buzz. He's been charging now for a couple of hours. So let's see how he's going, see what rate he's charging. Right, we've researched the internet. Now, Tesla chargers appear to come only to charge Tesla vehicles. Now, you could see maybe the point for that. You don't want someone else rocking up and plug in their car into your charger but you can go into the software as a wi-fi code you log in and there's a setting so we'll see if we can do that and we'll see how quickly it charges but let's just take a look at it now so how many miles so we've been going a couple of hours i won't sit on your nice seats ben there you go oh right. we're looking at his charging rate it'd be as if it slows down as it gets fuller right okay so it's got 102 miles of range it's at, it is slowing down slightly look it's five miles an hour now so as it gets fuller it's it's going to slow down a bit but what we'll do we'll try on tomorrow 
Um, obviously Ben's range will go down as he drives it backwards and forwards, but hopefully we can get it back down to about 86 and then we'll plug it in hopefully to the Tesla charger. I'm just waiting for Tesla to email me with the thing and we'll see how quickly it can charge with the Tesla charger on three phases. Right, so if you've lost the password for your Tesla charger, I went on the website and it said if you grab the serial number, which is on the label at the side, I don't know if we looked at there, there's a label, write to Tesla and they will look it up for you and tell you what your password is. So I wrote to Tesla, there's a little form you fill in, I'll put the link in the description below. You go there. And then I got the reply after two days and it says, um, yeah, if you've lost your password, you'll have to open the case. So that was a waste of two days of my life. Right, so we are going to take the case off. There are two screws at the top. They did send me the instructions of how to do it, and two screws at the bottom. Make sure you turn off at the fuse board to switch. Right, I've not done this. Right, so we're going to have two little... They're Allen head, but I'm using a tool because that works. Right, what are these like then? So we're looking for some password. Then we can get in. It's almost, it's a bit of a palaver, isn't it, Ben? All we're trying to do is charge the buzz at more than five miles an hour. Right, they, that's weird. Those screws seem to be like, not coming out. No, they're sort of turning. Right, what have we got going in at the bottom here? So the same deal at the bottom. Right, so the goal is here. Right, there we go, that's what we're looking at. He's out. They're funny little screws, then you can have a look at one of those, Ben. Yeah, the bottom ones are somewhat easy, harder to find, but easier to take out. And we'll take a picture of it, Ben, and then we'll, we'll know the password next time. Right, there's that one. It's like you need a magnetic. How am I going to get those out of there? Oh, there's a bit of movement there. Oh, there you go. Right, so there you go. So there's inside a test. Now, where have we got a code? Have we got a white? Yeah, that's the code you need there. It's the WPA2. It's actually quite a nice system if you look at this. You've got this nice little four-way plug. So no wires come. Everything stays fixed on the wall there. So right, we will have a... And then we'll get back to... Logging on to the app and seeing if we can un tesla this and get some charge in the Volkswagen and then see how many, how many amp, how many, how many miles per hour it charges at. Right, let me shove this back on the wall. Right, so that's all back together. So what we need to do now is get this to broadcast the Wi-Fi code. Now, apparently every time you turn it on and off at the breaker, it does it. But apparently you can press this button here for five seconds and this light should go to a pulsing green one. Right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Right, let's let that go. Is that pulsing green? Anyway, it's done something, hasn't it? Right, so let's have a look. Right, so apparently now we can go on our phone and if we go to settings, we should see Wi-Fi. And then, there we go, we should see the Tesla wall connector there. So we can go to the Tesla wall connector and it asks for the password. Now, oh, I haven't written it down. It's on my phone on the photograph. Right, let me enter that. Right, so I've entered that password that was we got off there, the WPA2 thingy one. Right, let's join that. Right. And hopefully that right so we're connected now what we need to do is open up a web page right so we need to enter the the web address so if we enter in the bot 192.168.92.1 and if we press go that should give us a website here we go right okay so let's have a look so this gives us so alerts none active wi-fi is connected software versions that installation it's got 32 amp um it's got an access controls allowed ve this is what we need allowed vehicles for charging only tesla right authorized tesla all vehicles okay so interesting you could put authorized teslas only so you could link it actually to your tesla right so let's try that so we don't have to enter that it looks like we just go back do we um so there we go so it now says all vehicles right so we should all be good now so we should have hacked our tesla charger 
to allow it to work for any vehicle. Right, let's shift Mrs. Powerful's Tesla while well, she's not looking and get the buzz around here again and see how many miles an hour we can get that buzz charging at. Right, let's stick some juice in him. So here we go. So let's, he should, yeah, I heard it go, right, let's jump in and see how many miles an hour we're getting. All right, please wait. Let's get you right there. Whoa, we're charging, Ben. Oh, charges 17 miles each hour. So we're up to 17. So that's saying it's only 5.5 kilowatts, which, which isn't blinding, is it? And we're about the same, we're a little bit hungrier than we were before, so it should be. So, mind you, that is three times the rate we were doing before. We were doing yes. five miles an hour, yeah. so uh, so that. But what do they reckon? They reckon that other, we've been looking at the Zappy charger, they reckon that will do 22. Um, so we're going to order the Zappy charger, but we've at least hacked the Tesla charger, so it will now charge non-Tesla cars. So, there we go. It'd be interesting if it gave you a time to... What What does this end at SA.52 mean? All right, we think we've worked it out. We're not totally sure, but we think end SA.39 means it will be fully charged on Saturday at 39 minutes past midnight. Now, for starters, they could have written 0039, would have given us a bit more of a clue. And also, they've got all this real estate on the screen. You think they could have given us the joy of the Saturday rather than... SA South Africa or some other thing I don't know what was going on but there you go why do they abbreviate stuff when there's no need to do it but there we go right let's charge <laughs> 